This one is from another special education teacher. First, she started with, I really appreciate your TikToks. Oh, good. <laughs> She's in her 23rd year. Oh, wow. And there have been some things she has seen and heard that are simply mind-boggling. She is now the special education coordinator and related service person basically told her that they would, and I quote, prefer to have an opportunity to determine if OT needs should be on a formal evaluation per my observational and professional judgment. Mind you, this service provider is a contract person who is at our school maybe two hours a week. Um, I think I know the answer, but wanted to ask you what your thoughts are so I can make an informed decision based on the legal side of things. Yeah, so we do evaluations so that we can be clear on our determinations. So while I appreciate an opinion, uh, a teacher's opinion or even an evaluator's opinion is something that can't be verified. Andrew F. March 22nd, 2017. So uh, we ask for formal evaluation because they have standardization, they have a process and they have um, parameters around them, right? And so somebody's drive by opinion doesn't benefit students. So I don't care whether or not he meets eligibility for the instructional related service. I care that your evaluation was done with ethics, with fidelity, and in the confines and scope of your practice.